Hey everyone, good afternoon, happy Saturday. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. I was out early this morning, dropped off my wife at work, and then I, she wasn't at work for that long, so I figured, hey, I want to go take a look at some knives at this shop called Knifeware, uh, locally here in Vancouver, it's on Main Street. Uh, it's a Alberta-based company. They start in Alberta, but they're in Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver, um, Ottawa, Toronto, and maybe one more. I'm not too sure, but they're headquartered in Alberta, uh, which makes sense because there's uh, a lot more money there and no competition, I guess. Anyways, long story short, they kind of specialize in Japanese knives, and it's kind of circa back to 2019, I bought a a, um, a nakiri from them uh, for those that don't know nakiri is kind of a, it's a vegetable knife and it looks like a it's basically like a box it's like a sorry rectangle and it's like that and um yeah anyways long story short so i kind of went back there and i really wanted to get a uh, a, a honing a honing stick i don't know what to call this thing honing Anyways, so it's a ceramic homing st honing stick. There's a lot on Amazon and stuff, but I wanted to go back there because I think these guys are pretty uh, meticulous in what they sell. It's super smooth. This is like maybe a 5,000 grit or so. The white one's a bit more coarse. And truthfully speaking, and this part's rubber, truthfully speaking, uh, I had a good chat. I was there for two hours. I found free parking. I was really happy. And I chatted with a guy. His name was Francis. Shout out to him. Uh, if you guys do go there, make sure to look for him. Everyone's super helpful, but anyways, and of course for most of my viewers are non-Canadian and non-American, but uh, anyways, long story short. Uh, yeah, so the cool thing about these is uh, when you go this way, this is the German knives and this is the Japanese knives. So the angle is a lot different when you kind of hone your blade. But anyways, talking to the guy, he said leather first. He's like, on your knives just uh, I think strope that's how you say it on leather or strop I don't know what the pronunciation is but leather first and then keep doing on leather until it no longer gets back the edge and then next you want to go to this because this is still about like a 5,000 grit um, um, coarseness I guess so it will take a little bit off your knife and then of course after that stage then you go to like the the wet stones and all that fun stuff. Do not, please guys, for those, uh, do not ever use those knife blocks sharpener where you drag your knife through, that, that kills your knife, don't do it. Uh, anyways, coming back to it, so today, I'm gonna look off my screen here because I, I have a bit more information here. It's the, I bought, I bought two knives. <laughs> yeah, went a little bit extra, uh, and I'm just so excited that I was like, hey, I'm gonna film this because I think these are super rad, super cool. So first one here, it is, I cannot read. So for those that do read, uh, I mean, I can Google translate this later, Google lenses later. But uh, anyways, I don't know what it says, but this is Masa Shiro Shu. It's a 120 millimeter petty knife and I bought the last one. Uh, actually, no, that's not true. There's, I'm looking online uh, unavailable in Calgary, but they still have two there. Long story short, it's a the the steel is SLD. Uh, there's a when you get into knives, like holy smokes, there's all this like steel. There's like the whole pocket knife side of steel, and then there's like the kitchen knife side of steel. VG10 is kind of like the general one. It's pretty easy to sharpen, holds its edge pretty good. And then there's SLD, which is, I believe, made by Hitachi. And it's more of like a steel for tools. That's what it's for. Long story short, it works also for knives. The gentleman uh, that I was there with, Francis, he said he doesn't really like SLD. He's more of a VG10. There's a lot of knives. And I literally, I was there for two hours. So kudos to him for his patience and going over the details and information, just nerding out over knives. Uh, long story short, uh, I haven't even shown you the knife yet, but it's beautiful. Uh, just unboxing this. This is like, this is the gentleman. Very Japanese. He's even got a cigarette in his mouth. Um, so his name is... 
This blacksmith is. Uh, huh. It's not on here. It's uh, Masa, Masashi Yamamoto. And the interesting is one of the individuals that works at night for, he's kind of over in Japan right now, being his apprentice, working six days a week, 9 a.m. to like 9 p.m. every day, just building knives, probably making nothing. Uh, anyways, long story short, in the Rockwell Hardness, where there's a 63, 64, um, the collars made from buffalo horn, uh, it's made in Nagata, Japan. Anyways, long story short, let me just show you the knife. And, uh, you know, oh, this is the part about the honing, see? So a non-Japanese knife at 25, and then a Japanese knife at 15. Yeah. And pretty cool. I had no idea they had this. But you can take a knife back there and they'll do the first sharpening for free. So right on, that's, that's incredible customer service. Great, great place, great shop. I would definitely recommend buying from them. Okay, without further ado, here we go. We got the knife here. So again, this is a stainless steel, SLD steel knife. Beautiful Damascus. Uh, yeah, lovely. I love these guys' knives because this is one of the most important things, for me at least. Uh, this part here is nice and like finished. You see how this part here is nice and rounded? Because when I hold the knife, I'm usually holding the knife like this. My finger is right and snug up in there. Some people also, this part bothers them. Like this will kind of cut into their hand. Not a huge thing for me, but these are finished just so beautifully. Uh, yeah, so beautiful Damascus steel. Uh, focus here and this is made out of um, water buffalo horn collar yeah so Rockwell hardness 6364 steel is SLD semi stainless steel it says rust prone I have one of these it's never rusted of course I also don't, don't soak it in water like after I use it I clean it and I hang it to dry I don't wipe these um, so it hasn't rusted yet, so it's it's pretty good. Anyways, it's a shape is petty um, blade length. I always thought it was called paring knife, but it's a petty knife apparently. Uh, blade length one twenty, blade height thirty one mils, uh, and just beautiful. Just Damascus clad SLD stainless steel is rugged and reliable. Not to mention easy to care for and clad in 32 shiny, sexy layers of stainless steel on either side. Indeed. What a beautiful knife. I was debating not to buy this one. Uh, I wanted to just get, excuse me, like a chef knife. But <laughs> uh, sometimes you just need that knife that can do a lot. And I feel like I'm going to be using this quite a bit. Beautiful knife. Uh, Ooh. There's the handle. What other information do we have here? Yeah, a lot of really good reviews. So that's kind of that uh, beautiful, beautiful knife. I'm very excited. After this video, I'm going to go cut a kiwi or something or a tomato and yeah sheath this back here for now and so my second knife for those that have been watching my other videos you saw me with my dardo carbon steel pan here's kind of a little prequel to that this is a 180 millimeter uh this is considered so the brand is sakai kikumori asagiri um it's a Kiritsuke Santoku. They call it a Santoku, but the shape is a, a bunka. Bunka is basically like a Santoku, but the head is chopped off. A, a Santoku is a very nice round. It looks like an orca whale, but this has like the top kind of cut off. Anyway, same thing, uh, same sheet of paper. This one. 
Kind of cool. A nice warning label. I'll read this later. And here we go, guys. See, there's the chopped up. This is the bunka. That's what they call this cut. And there we go. Beautiful. His name's engraved onto that. I heard a lot of the apprentices finish this, like the master, the Sifu will do the blade and then they get their apprentice to like finish engraving this. And so this is a carbon steel knife. It will rust. Uh, but when I was a knife where Francis took out a potato and we cut a potato together, I was like actually quite nervous to do it. I, I don't know, just kind of out of your kitchen, out of your domain. They're like, cut a potato in a different flight. It's kind of weird. Uh, long story short, and he purposely left it out for a while to show me like it, it doesn't rust that bad. It's actually pretty robust. So anyways, this is a multi-purpose. I'm just going to read this multi-purpose knife, but with a slight vegetable bias. Yeah, uh, like like a Nakiri. A Nakiri is like a rounded head or a flat head. It's mostly for vegetables, actually. <laughs> Santoku means three virtues or to solve three problems. The virtues or problems are slicing. <laughs> Dicing and mincing. Santuco is usually found in 160 millimeter and 190 millimeter length. This one here is a 180, so kind of in the middle. These are more and more popular in Western kitchens due to their unique shape, smaller and easier to handle size. I just, I, you know, like the most Western knives are like a seven inch uh, chef's knife, which has like the belly, much like this one, but more round, so you get that rockingness. A lot of times, like, I'll have green onions and I'll kind of like cut the end, but I'll rock it up and down. Uh, anyways, about Sakai Kirumori Asagiri, forged by Yoshikazu Tanaka, the Asagiri, translate to Morning Fog, is a stainless steel clad series. Oh, okay. Shirogami number no. two core, brought to us by Sakai Ki Kikumori. The knives in this series also sport a step K tip and a classic Kasumi finish that feel, that, and feels like stainless steel clad sister series to the Tanaka made Shiro Inko Kasumi knife. So let me look into that one. Anyways, so the shape is a bunka. So this is what they call it. It's basically like a Santoka, but with the head chopped off. Blade length 180, blade height 50 millimeter. Uh, I, I like them a little bit taller so then when you're cutting you can you have more knuckle space so you don't cut your fingers off. Blade thickness 2.7. Uh, the other one was uh, a lot thinner. It was two millimeters, so this 2.7. And you see here it's thick, 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 and then a little bit thinner. When you look this way, it's kind of hard to see. But there's quite a bit more girth in this part because you generally want I mean, everyone's got their personal preference, but the design of this knife, there's a little bit more weight here, so you can really get into like the cutting on this part. Uh, yeah, just lovely. Uh, feels great in the hand. Weight, 164 grams. The other one it was super light at 70 grams. So this is twice the weight of that one. Bit more than twice, actually. Steel type, Shirogami number no. two. Carbon, it's white carbon steel with stainless steel cladding. Uh, cladding is, uh, he was explaining to me, You, it might be hard to see, uh, you can kind of see, uh, see this kind of like the different tone that it shapes to. I probably need to read into this more and what cladding actually is, but he kind of explained to me, uh, it's something about, uh, this is a terrible answer, but it's something to do with like how this part moves to this part, the change in, so anyways. Handle, it's made by, it's a Wa Japanese handle, octagon burnt oak. Cool. Made in uh, Sakai, Osaka. Brand is, the brand is Sakai Kikumori. So Sakai Kikumori. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Not a whole lot of reviews on this knife. Amazing knife, great balance, exceptional, holds the edge extremely well. So this one is a uh, carbon with stainless steel cladding. Uh, top part, it's not perfectly finished. You can see there's a little bit, it's like flat, flat, and then the side. So it's not too bad. Don't mind it, but 
Mm, so far. Holding in my hand. It's pretty comfortable. I like it. Let me see. Yeah, my mic is on. Mic check here. Yeah, my mic is on. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, this PTSD now with no sound. I gotta refilm. Anyways, that's pretty much it. The handle is just kind of meh. Nothing too, too special. The other guy, this beautiful handle, very lightweight, this pair, this petty knife, sorry. Uh, this is gonna be kind of like a main driver. I'm super pumped and excited to be using this to cut anything and everything. Well, that's not true, not like, not like bones and stuff. This is, at the end of the day, still a vegetable knife. But uh, yeah, I'm, it's gonna be a bit more, bit more work because I gotta make sure after I use it to clean it and wipe it dry-ish at least so that it doesn't rust. Um, but over time, like this will patina, and like it'll oxidize and it'll patina and it'll become like purple or blue or whatever color. It kind of depends what I'm cutting and what I'm cooking and how well I take care of it. But this will probably be the last time that we see it in this um, sort of like stainless steel color. Uh, I don't think I need to like clean this with a, a, a pad or anything like a carbon steel pan it's not coated it's not oily so that on that note you know there's like stainless steel in here because it's not rusted yet when they shipped it but yeah anyways that's it super excited about this knife uh super excited about both these knives this is more for like a show or i guess i should do it lying by it this this is probably a good uh <laughs> I get, um, what am I saying, a thumbnail. We'll see if YouTube captures this. Maybe they don't like like the knives here, but anyways. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, glad you guys, for those that are still here that stuck through the end, appreciate you as always. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I'm a little bit crazy in terms of uh, spending money on knives and uh, what you guys use. I'm curious kind of what you guys use for your kitchen stuff are you more of like just a meh use whatever get like the henkels or whatever um which is cool too i mean i've used the victorinox knife for probably most of my cooking time that i ever had uh, i do have another one of these guys in a uh a, a santoku they ma mas masashi shiroshu that's this so this is the sakai kiki mori mori Okay, cool. I'm going to end this off here because I'm rambling on, but uh, glad you guys could join. I'm going to go. I'm going to go cut something on a board now. Catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.